Okay, so I'm actually filming this intro um, the day you're watching this video because I realized I never filmed one, but it's good because it gives me a chance to tell you what we actually did. So welcome back. In today's video, we're going to run through a full day of eating, training. I'll get into the details of my eating and how I maintain on 3,500 calories. And then at the end of the video, um, I give some, I probably shouldn't tell you, don't fast forward. Um, I give some tips on how to grow your bench. I show a little bit of my own benching. Um, and it's just overall a solid day saw it um work out full day of eating and like i said some advice for the end so if you guys enjoy make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share turn on post notifications at the bell button right next to the subscribe button once you press it go to video at both.com spartangear.co and campbellsupplements.com i love you so much and i hope you enjoy all right so i have no idea why the lighting is all messed up here but um i had my first meal meal number one this is my breakfast um it's about 11 30 right now um, meal number one is six whole large eggs um, with sriracha, low calorie toast, it's the 647 bread, it's 40 calories per slice, um, and then six pieces of Jenny O turkey bacon. So, really, the goal of this meal is to just break my fast, that's what breakfast is, as well as get some carbs in, get some protein in. Um, the turkey bacon tastes really good. Alternative for regular bacon, great breakfast meat. Um, pretty simple meal number one. There's not too much intention here versus like my pre and post workout meal. Just something to fuel my body, get some protein in. Like I said, so I'm gonna eat this meal number one. Do some more school, and then we'll move into my second meal. Head to the gym and get on with the day. So let's do that. Can your team bluff it? My squad, we all dream crush it. We ain't rush it, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. First off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluff it. My squad, we all dream crush All right, here at my post. All right, here at my pre-workout meal. Um, and, ah, uh, man, I am just <laughs> upset. I'm so upset. TikTok uh, banned my main account for three days, and if I'm banned again after that, then I'm perma banned. I did nothing wrong. They banned a video of me flexing. I had my shirt off, but you couldn't see anything below my shoulders. I flexed my bicep, um, and usually they give you a reason, like minor safety, harassment, bullying. This time, nope, no reason. Also, they closed all of my claims um, that I had open with them with problems that I had. Closed them all. Didn't respond. Just closed them. Um, and then, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so before I could not um, go and appeal the videos that they were striking down. But now all of a sudden when they shut this video down, I went to appeal it. I could appeal that one and two others. There were still some that I couldn't, still some that I couldn't, but I could appeal that one and two others. Weird. Um, so I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I made a second account. I'll link it, but I don't want to be on a platform that's treating me this way anyway. So. That's why I want YouTube to be my main gig. I've said that since the day I started YouTube. Um, it's just not that easy to grow a YouTube channel. So honestly, like if you guys watch these videos all the way through, leave a like, comment, please commenting, leaving a like, it boosts the algorithm. Sharing the video to a friend, it really does help. Like I don't just say it, it really does help. And I appreciate it a lot. Why don't I eat this? I want to head to the gym. Pin down and I'm gonna get it right. Get on sight like. Never really know when you're gonna go. Why you gotta put it on the foot in front of yours? Bearing them toes, carry them close. I was never one to care about my man toes. I was like froze, now I'm on floor. Give me that smoke, but I can't get high. We do the most, here to inspire. You don't want to sports, but I can't get tired. Run for your life every night. See in the dark, blind by the light. I got the spark, I got the pipes. All of my arts coming to life. Had to face my fears while I chased my peers, and I found my spot. Belt time that I found myself. I've been out here walking that walk like. Fuck. 
First off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crush it. We ain't rush it, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. First off, you don't run nothing. All talking, your team bluffing. My squad, we all dream crush it. We ain't rush it, no discussion. All I know is I was made for this. Paid for this, yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'ma get it right. Dead on sight, like. And I'ma get it right, dead on sight like Pin down and I'ma get it right, dead on sight like with my post-workout meal i forgot a diet soda what else is now um and i also burnt my beef because so i forgot to turn it off but i have lean ground beef with spanish uh style rice lettuce tomato sriracha just a bunch of volume to help fill me up um it's really all to it the protein um you know to get my protein goal build muscle help recover my muscles that i just tore down while working out rice is for the carbs um got my fiber in there it's really just a multi-purpose. This is my most important meal and it's also my favorite because of what it is and the fact that I'm eating it right after literally depleting my body of all macronutrients through working out, especially carbs. But uh, there you go. The bite has been taken. I'm gonna enjoy this. Try to cope because I'm, ugh. Horrible day. Horrible day. Yeah. See you in a second. All right, last meal of the night, if you want to call it that. Two peanut butter jelly thick crunch bars. I'm so excited to eat these again. Um, I'm going to have my diet set earlier with dinner. You guys know I forgot it, so I'm going to have that because I've been down my water. And I have one scoop of protein in here. So pretty protein-packed uh, protein, protein meal, but this is just going to finish off my calories. Um... And these are going to make me feel 5% better because these are very good. Get these. So I'm watching Vaughn Walker right now. I watched Alex and Anthony already. Maverick has a stomach ache. He's not feeling good right now. He's currently hiding. <laughs> I make him so when he goes, he loves to go under the blankets. He waits for you and he, he cries if you don't let him. But I always make him stick his head out because I don't want him uh, choking or suffocating rather in his sleep. So I make him poke his little head out or at least his nose like that. <laughs> oh, good night. All right, so I just did a little physique update um, and I'll show you guys that. But I wanted to do a little weigh-in as well. So this is saying 177.4, which is a heavy day for me, no problem. 
Usually I'm around 175, I've even gone down like 173. Um, it's just a matter of like water weight, but I just want to move this spot to check, which is what I usually do. Yep, I'm a fat bastard. 177 point, what was that, seven? So like, 178 pounds. Why you gotta put another foot in front of yours? Bury them toes, carry them clothes. I was never one to care about my man toes. I was like froze, now I'm on floor. Give me that smoke, but I can't get high. We did the most, here to inspire. Doing what I'm supposed, but I can't get tired. So for the next question of this video, I had an idea. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about my bench since I did bench in this video. Um, I kind of give you guys my three main um, pieces of advice to grow your bench. Keep in mind, my bench is literally horrible. I mean, my max is 245. Um, but I have grown my bench from literally like less than a plate to 245 um, in about a year. Um, so I would just want to give you my advice. If you want it, take it. Um, if not, that's fine. But I will say anybody who has a bench way bigger than mine is probably going to tell you the same exact things. Um, so with that being said, I'll show like a video of me benching. Like I'll probably show the video of the least amount of weight I ever benched. Like when that was my max. Um, I'll just go all the way back to the start. Um, and then obviously you guys saw me bench today, so I'll leave that out. But tip number one is going to be to bench. <laughs> Literally just practice. The more you practice benching, the better you're going to be at benching. It's that simple. Um, I'm going to get into what specifically you might want to do to grow your bench. But all in all, if you want to grow your bench, you need to bench. Um, of course, do your other chest exercises, but to grow your bench press, specifically your barbell bench press, you need to bench. Tip number two is going to be, like I said, what you should do when you are benching. And that's going to be um, low reps, high weight, heavy weight. So I would say anywhere from like the one to three rep range, um, you're going as heavy as possible um, for the one to three reps, um, however much you know you can do. Um, and really getting used to pushing on that last rep. That's that's what the goal should be. The first two reps should be a bit of a grinder. Um, you should definitely feel them if you're only doing th uh, three reps. The first two you should, you know, definitely have to put some effort into. Um, but the third one, say we're doing three, the third one should be like, damn, I gotta get this shit up. Um, you should definitely feel that one. And that's what's gonna help you to push to a new level um, and grow your numbers. And then tip number three, is going to be to gain weight. Um, at the end of the day, mass moves mass to an extent. Um, and so if you wanna grow your bench, um, you should you should grow yourself. You should be in a calorie surplus and you should gain weight. If you're going for competition um, and you're trying to stay the same weight, that's different. But as you're learning the bench, I think it's a great idea to bulk up. Like when you're bulking, I would take advantage of that. Obviously, when you have the extra strength and energy um, and you can push more weight, um, definitely that's when you should be focusing on growing your bench, um, so that, uh, and, you know, fixing your technique so that when you maybe cut down a bit, um, preserve as much muscle mass as possible. So you can push, um, as close to that old number of weight as possible. And you have the technique down. So, um, you can push more weight because you know the technique. Um, but yeah, gaining weight, um, in general is going to help you um, grow your bench because mass does move mass. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these three tips. Um, if you did, let me know if you guys want more types of, you know, videos like this. I can do one for squat, deadlift. I really don't have much to say. I fucking suck at it. Um, but squat, uh, you just basically shit yourself. Post on TikTok, get 1.1 million views. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, if you guys enjoyed that, let me know. Um, but let's, uh, get into the outro of this video. I'm actually just going to do that here right now, um, right after I recorded that bit. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notifications. That's the bell button right next to the subscribe button. Once you press it, code view at both.com, spartangear.co, and camletsupplements.com. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, you know, the little bit of advice at the end, let me know. I just really want to put my all into these YouTube videos. Um, you guys saw the last video about my TikTok and how it was banned. So I want to put 100% effort into YouTube, um, Instagram, and TikTok as well. I'm going to be posting on two TikTok, two TikTok accounts now. Um, I'll probably make like a separate video about this, whether it's a TikTok or an Instagram story or maybe even a YouTube video. But um, the reason people fail is because they get hit with something hard, like their account being banned, and then they stop, they give up, they say it wasn't for me. And I thought to myself, instead of complaining, let me just do something. It's not fair. It shouldn't have happened. And don't get me wrong. I did complain. I did say this should not have happened because it shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been banned. I didn't do anything wrong. 
Um, but instead of, you know, pouting on it and saying, I'm going to quit now, things aren't going to work out. You know, I made my second account, 67 followers. I should have 12.5 thousand. I still have that first account. It's not permanently banned, um, but it's, it's getting there. Um, I'm just going to post on both, grow them both, and I'll have them both. And who knows, maybe the second account, I'll get more followers than the first. My point is, uh, I'm not going to let it stop me. And I feel like that's the reason a lot of people fail is because they let it stop them. That's not going to happen to me. I have fucking goals and I will succeed. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.